Do you know what a relationship is? A relationship is a special connection with someone. Relationships are all different. There are many different types of relationships, like family, romantic relationships, friends, and even people like community helpers. The type of relationship we have with someone else can depend on how well we know them, what their relation is to us, and how similar or different we are to them. It can also depend on your age or how far away you live from someone else. You don't need to have a deep connection, live close by, or be very similar to have a relationship. These are just examples. Let's learn about a few common types of relationships. Family is usually pretty special. While everyone has a different type of family, family members are more likely to live with you or provide support when you need help. They usually know you very well. Romantic relationships are special bonds between two people who care deeply for each other. These relationships can include boyfriends, girlfriends, spouses, or partners. In adulthood, they may live together or even be married. Friends are people you like to spend time with. Friends can be relied on for support and comfort, and they usually know us very well. Friends are different from peers. Peers are people you see a lot and are friendly with, like classmates or coworkers. You will have many more peers than you do friends, and that's okay. Trusted adults, such as teachers or counselors, are adults you feel safe around. They are not your friends, but you know you can talk to them if you need help. They are good people to talk to for support. Acquaintances are people you know but may not be very close to. You might see them occasionally or have a brief conversation. You don't share personal information or deep feelings with them. Community helpers are people in your community who work to keep everyone safe and healthy. You may see them, but you don't usually know them well. They include people like librarians, police officers, doctors, crossing guards, and more. Strangers are people you have never met before. It's important to be careful around strangers, even if they seem nice. We do not share personal information with strangers, and we never go with them to unfamiliar places. Now that we have learned about the different types of people we have relationships with, let's learn about physical boundaries. Boundaries are like invisible bubbles around us. When it comes to relationships, it's important to know that every person, including you, has different boundaries. Our personal space is the space inside of our invisible bubble. We have the right to not let anyone else inside of our personal space unless we want them to. When we don't know someone well, our personal space boundary may be bigger than it is with a friend or family member. It's important to understand physical boundaries so that we can keep our bodies safe. We also don't want to make others feel uncomfortable by invading their personal space. When it comes to boundaries, there are certain actions we may or may not do with people. For example, would you hug your mailman? Would you kiss a stranger you've never seen before? Hopefully not. While hugging and kissing strangers is not okay, it is okay to smile. As we learn more about relationships, it's also important to know the difference between a healthy relationship and an unhealthy relationship. Healthy relationships make us feel happy, safe, and taken care of. But unhealthy relationships do the opposite. They can make us feel sad or unsafe. Remember, it's important to build good relationships Treat others with kindness and respect personal boundaries. Keep growing and making positive connections with others. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.